All right, in 83, we have the graph that gives the velocity in feet per second of a car from t equals zero to eight, or t is the time in seconds, of the following. It's asking which is the best estimate of the distance traveled by the car from t equals zero until the car comes to a complete stop. Okay, so um, the, the key is to remember that if you integrate the velocity function, let's say if you integrate velocity from A to B, this will tell you the distance traveled from A to B because it'll, cause essentially you're gonna take the antiderivative of B of T, which will be S of T, and you're gonna basically look at the, diff, the position at B and find, find the position at A, and so how far it traveled from B to A. That's the idea, but you're not gonna use this integral because you don't have the equation of the function. So what we do is just, we just get an approximation of the area underneath it. And so let's just look at this. So I'm gonna do about shade. See, like here we have five squares. And about here to here, we got a little less than five, but let's just, let's go with five. It's pretty close. This one, this next one will go for four. And for this next one, three, three and a half-ish maybe, but let's go three. This next one, two, let's say about two. And here one, let's go with one and one to make up the this one over here. So again, we're gonna mean to multiply our answer by 10, but we have five, 10, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 times 10. So we have 210 square units. This is our integrating velocity, basically 210 feet, approximately. And yeah, we write, there we go. Our answer would be D. 84 for X between negative 1.5 and 1.5, let F be a function with first derivative given by F prime of X being equal to E to the X to the fourth minus two x squared plus one minus two, which of the following are all intervals on which the graph of f is concave down? Okay, so um, remember if we have a graph that we that the, when the graph of f is concave down, this is f. What this is saying about the first derivative is that the first derivative is going from positive to, well, it's not necessarily gonna go from positive to negative, but, but basically it's decreasing. F prime is decreasing. It could go from positive to negative, but it's just decreasing because here, let's say the slope will be strictly a positive number. Here it becomes, you know, zero and here it becomes negative. So the F prime will be, dec will be decreasing when on an interval where a graph is concave down. So let's see on what interval is this graph decreasing? So we're gonna to go to our calculator action. Let's graph this. So graphing this function. And I think I entered it correctly. All right, so you see we get this cool symmetrical graph. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Remember, this is F prime. So it's decreasing from here to this point right here. And it, then it's increasing up to here, but then it's decreasing from here to here again. So we want to find what these points are so we can know what in the intervals would be. So let's find the locations of the minimums. And it's going to be symmetrical, so I assume it's going to be just the same distance from the center, it seems. So let's, let's, 
double check. So on the left, we have a minimum at negative one. So at negative one, negative one. And on the right, I believe that's going to be one, negative one. Yep, one, negative one. See, so it's decreasing on this interval. Since we're starting at negative 1.5, it's decreasing from negative 1.5 to negative one. And it's decreasing from zero to one. And so our answer would be D. Eighty-five. We're given the graph of f prime, and we want to find where the function f has a local maximum. So, remember our local maximum. So let's say this is a local maximum. Graph of f occurs when the graph of f changes from having a derivative that's increasing or being or positive to the derivative being negative. So f prime is positive and f prime will be negative on this side. So let's see where the graph of this f prime goes from positive to negative. So see up to here, it's negative. Then from here, all along here, it's positive. Then it's negative after that. So it goes from positive to negative at x equals one. And so our answer is simply C, we'll just be one. Mm -hmm.